The following is an article I wrote in my zine Catfish Volume 3, which was way, way back in high school. I'm 31 now. So, high school when I was 16 or 17? About half my life ago. Answering machines can be used for many hilarious purposes. Oftentimes, great pranks and practical jokes. This I have realized. I really do love the answering machine, despite its impersonal overtones. It's fun to give and leave messages for your friends, but for business, it's not too much fun, however. You can let your imagination run wild. Well, when I used to live with my mom, we had this cool answering machine. It was inexpensive. It had many cool features and was very easy to use, unlike most answering machines I've used and seen. In fact, it wasn't much harder to use than a tape recorder. Well, my mom let me do whatever I wanted with the answer machine. I could leave any outgoing messages I wanted, and so I did. I made up some weird ones where I rambled on and on for like two or three minutes. Some people didn't like waiting that long to leave a message, especially a friend of my mom's roommate. She said she would be very mad if she had been paying long distance for that call. I also joked around with the memo function, leaving messages for incoming calls from home and pretended like I was people calling for my mom. She wasn't fooled. My impressions weren't that good. Some of the outgoing messages I left in different voices. Pretended I was other people and said stupid and funny and sometimes witty things. But once what I did, I called a local television station after hours and recorded its answering machine message on my outgoing message. Well, this was pretty funny. It really mixed people up. Like my uncle got my number from my dad and he called me but got an answer machine. Well, it was Kelloland. So he figured he got the wrong number but he tried again, same thing. So he asked my dad if he gave him the right number. My dad said it was just me joking around. My uncle called. He was a little mad at this idea. But when I visited him sometime later, he thought it was amusing. But the big wham really happened. I had a cheap 8086 IBM computer for sale. If you grew up in this Current generation, you probably never heard of that. It was advertised in the newspaper. Someone called and got... Someone called and got the answer machine message. Guess where they worked? Kelloland. They called back and yelled at my mom's roommate and said that I was violating copyright laws and theft or something in that effect. Also... With a good answering machine like my mom's, it's easy to screen calls. It's fun to listen to them, and you don't have to talk to people you don't want to talk to. I love to hear interesting, unusual answering machine messages. When I call someone, it's better than the boring routine ones. You always hear, hi, we're not home, leave your name. But I think that those commercially made ones are stupid and oftentimes corny. Besides, they're not that creative. I think people can think of better ones than those anyways but ultimately answer machine messages should be reflective of who you are a way to express your individuality and creativity a word of warning if your parents and or roommates are professional people they probably won't want creative answering machine messages business calls are usually serious so only create cool messages of non-business people like my mom she never (laughs) got any business type calls So that's why it worked so well. Answer machines can be used for great and cool things.